What's going on YouTube? Got another knife review here for you. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Seamus Author. Um, the author is a knife from Jim Harrison out of Seamus Knives. Uh, he owns and runs uh, this knife company. Uh, apparently since 1999 from what I was researching on his website. Um, you can see Seamus' marking right there. Um, this nice kind of gear pattern thumb stud. This is obviously full titanium frame lock, titanium clip. It's 2.625 inches of S30V and you can see that it's running IKBS uh, in the pivot. So overall a very handsome small folder. So you can see here this is you know compared to a bunch of my uh, pretty much all my small folders minus my silent soldier flipper um, so here's the Spyderco Leaf Storm, the Benchmade 755 MPR. This is the Small Sebenza with the Insingo, and then the Buck Mayo Collaboration TNT with the carbon fiber, and then the Spyderco Techno. And then really quick, just to show um, the size compared to a large Sebenza, you can see how um, small these knives are compared uh, to this 3.625 inch blade on the Sebenza. Um, you know, when I think about the um, you know overall use and functionality of this author, uh, I think it's a fantastic blade. To be honest, um, this is a blade that I'd see carrying you know in you know in a suit pocket or you know slacks. It would fit in jeans just fine or even in like the coin or watch pocket in your jeans and it would function just great as a secondary EDC or just as you know a nice again gentleman's formal carry uh, knife you know for those Sunday afternoons at church or or whatnot you know of course there's days this past Sunday I carried my dire wear <laughs> for service so yeah it's kind of a joke um, let me just bring that out real quick So, you know, comparing, you know, bringing a monster like this uh, versus the author is kind of just freaky. Um, so, yeah, very different usages, obviously. Um, this, you can strip down a cow, and, and this one, you, I don't know, maybe could get a fish if you really wanted to. Anyway, uh, that, that aside, uh, you know, compared to, you know, a bunch of these other small knives. You know, the NPR, I was just thinking about the NPR and the Leaf Storm here. Um, not that the Leaf Storm is tactical because it's got such a small blade. I think a two and a half or two and a quarter inch blade. Um, but just the shape of the blade, you know, especially these two. Um, not that it's threatening, but I think for, you know, the quote unquote sheeple, you know, if they saw the leaf storm, they may feel a little bit threatened by this kind of uh, strange blade. Um, it's a very aggressive looking blade, uh, I, I think, personally. Um, then the MPR, you know, with the black tactical, with the blood groove, fuller. Um, you know, this one obviously I've, I've customized, but, um, you know, a, a very large, thick, high blade, uh, I think looks somewhat... I don't know, somewhat scary, in my opinion, um, if somebody were to pull it out. Obviously, for me and my usage, usages, you know, this is a awesome use, uh, utility knife that I would use around the house and, you know, use for everyday EDC as well. But, you know, a knife like this, you know, throwing this in my pocket, if I were to pull this out in the mall to cut something, um, you know, in the food court or whatever, um, I really don't think anybody would be threatened by this knife. You know, I think similar to, you know, the small Sebenza, this Buck Mayo with the carbon fiber, you know, is, you know, is, is a beautiful knife. And then the Techno with the 2.5 inch blade as well. You know, very non-threatening, you know, closed. It's, you know, it's not, it's not very daunting. It's, it's, it's a very utilitarian looking knife, you know, um, as opposed to, yeah, dire wear, even with the carbon fiber. And you could, you know, knife collectors, we can see this knife and, and be like, man, that is one beautiful knife. But, you know, the average person out there seeing a knife like this would be probably pretty freaked out. You know, even with the Sebenza, maybe 
get a little freaked out due to its length. But the author, I think, you know, is probably one of the least threatening looking knives uh, in my collection for sure. One, obviously, again, due to the size, but two, when you think of, you know, comparing the width of this knife here, again, compared to the small Sebenza, you see quite a difference, you know, in this. The blade stock is pretty good, probably at about 0.11 uh, inches, maybe. I'm just kind of guesstimating right there. But, you know, again, compared to, say, a Direware, it's just kind of insane to even think about comparing these two knives. But again, overall, you know, this was, if I just had this as a secondary carry or even just as a primary carry for the day, um, you know, I, I think this would be a great, great knife to have. Uh, I actually traded this knife for, um, or traded my Martin Small Tejas for this knife. And uh, I'm really happy I did. You know, that Small Tejas had a .125, you know, stock of S30V. But I think it was a two and a quarter inch blade, you know, so really small in my opinion. Um, great construction, but you know, I really actually like the feel of this author a lot more. Um, ergonomics, I think, are are great on this knife. You know, it's got this pretty straight handle. It does have this little cutout um, here for your fingers to rest in, and um, you'd be kind of surprised at how even how small this knife is, but it pretty you know fills the palm pretty well. And uh, I get a full, you know, four finger grip on here uh, without any problems. And my thumb can ride up and down, you know, on this blade spine to do any kind of precision cutting and it's going to work fine. It does have a little bit of jimping. Uh, I would just say kind of ornamental jimping because um, it's kind of almost recessed, you know, in the handles here. So even if I dig down like this, then it'll grip my thumb. But if I just, you know, if I'm just holding from the with the pad on my thumb, you can see it just slides up and down, and so it really won't catch um, anything, you know, as opposed to say the Spider Echo with this very, very hard cut uh, jimping. You know, my the pad of my thumb just digs in there. Um, so, and you know, this leaf storm also has this cut out here, but it's almost it's almost too pronounced where my thumb my fingers sit in so low, and then you can see how my pinky and my index ride so high um, so you know squeezing this hard you almost feel some hot spots uh, in this knife you know so um, definitely not as comfortable as the author um, this one I can squeeze down and because it's so low pro profile um, there's no hot spots whatsoever you know on a knife this small um, Sebenza I think you know is probably I I've changed my mind since my review on the small Sebenza. I think it's really one of the more comfortable small knives and the Sebenza is just the classic you know straight uh, lines on the handle it makes for a very very comfortable uh, knife. So um, you know overall custom you know as a custom it doesn't have all the bells and whistles it's a very straightforward knife you know with titanium frame lock you know, construction I think is is great. Again, running IKBS, so it's very smooth. Um, it's got this press fitted, you know, stop pin right here, and the you can see here you, there's a titanium backspacer, but the uh, pocket clip is also recessed uh, into the handle, which is a nice touch. So, you know, you don't have all these you know screws all over the place. Basically, it's a very simple construction with this uh, backspacer one screw coming in from this side you know into this um, pin I don't know if it's pressed in or if it's actually a, like a female um, screw here and then from this side you got the screw uh, coming in here with the torx head and then it screws into the pocket clip part here so I haven't broken this knife down I don't plan to um, just because it, it's so smooth you know, riding on IKBS, there's no issues whatsoever. Um, definitely a very, very smooth knife um, in my collection, so I really enjoy it. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's it's a great, great, great gentleman's carry and small carry. You know, for those times when you have to say go to the city and you're not allowed to carry, you know, a big blade, this would definitely be a great option, great non-threatening option to have. 
So, yeah, I haven't seen any reviews of any Seamus knives on YouTube, so thought I'd get this one out there just to introduce this brand um, and this custom maker to you guys. Uh, I know some of you guys who are more established in the uh, knife collecting have probably heard of him, probably have seen him at blade shows and things like that, but um, I'd never heard of him, you know, until I got this knife. So I'm very impressed, really like his work, um, not just because he's out, for, uh, not out of St. Louis, but um, yeah, his, his work is fantastic. So check him out, SeamusKnives.com. His name is Jim Harrison. Um, overall, just a great, uh, great knife in my opinion. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys on the next vid. Take care. Bye.